Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Xenoverse playthrough. This is part 34, and last episode we had honestly a bit of a crazy episode. We had ourselves a fight against two gym leaders, not just one. We got a little bit of a two for one deal as we did go ahead and find ourselves Lieutenant Surge here in Vermilion. And while he was a pretty difficult fight and he had a really cool Raichu, um, we did go ahead, we won in one try, but I did decide to go ahead and level everyone up just a little bit. Shyleon was getting a little bit behind in levels, being like level 47 compared to Roserade being 53. I thought I could even it out just a bit, getting Shyleon up to level 50, and I thought, why not do the rest while we're at it, as Shyleon is kind of our star member of the team, in a sense of it's a Pokemon that we can't get rid of because we know it's important to the story, uh, so I can't train anything up really in place of it. So I figured, let's at least make sure that it can fight. So we have ourselves, our team all rounded up to level 50. In terms of moves that have changed, we have Dragon Dance, now on Hanjin, uh, which is still holding a muscle band at the moment. I did pick up a choice band, funnily enough, from a merchant that I'd gone past before while I was training. Uh, but at the moment, muscle band makes more sense because obviously I can't use Dragon Dance if I'm choiced, or if I do do that, <laughs> doo -doo, uh, then I'm gonna have a really bad time because I'll be locked into it. Other than that, I don't think there was any changes other than I did go ahead and finally teach Flamethrower to Scobble, uh, because I did have Flame Burst and we did have the TM for a little bit and I did forget about it. But other than that, no new moves, everything should be good. Um, and we are going to go ahead and start making our way over to Vegas City, as we don't need to be in Vermilion anymore. There is like a little area down here that I want to show off just real quick, and that is this. Because they're inspecting research on this truck, which is clearly a reference to me being under the truck. If it's not, then, well, I'm dumb. But at the moment, I'm 100% certain that that is a reference to me being under the truck, and I like little references like that. Because we're also, hopefully, going to be going and starting things off with a little reference over in Vegas City, as they did say that they had a secret hideout in the casino. As Team Dimension, they should have a secret hideout in the casino, and I'm hoping that we get to click a button behind a poster. I'm really hoping. If that isn't what happens, I will be a little bit upset. Now, why is what we need. There we go. Look, brain, don't worry. Slightly working today. Slightly working today. Uh, I am now kind of at an easier point in work. I have a little bit less to do. So hopefully my brain will be functioning and hopefully videos will be back to daily. So, um, what are you doing out here? Look who's here. Carlos, how's it going? It, it's going. Cut the chatter. Oh, okay. I didn't really chatter too much, but sure. I already know everything. Grandpa said that he'd send you to that old gym leader. Actually, I have a small favor to ask. I already went. I don't want to do this. Oh, wait. That's not what he's saying at all. I found this egg behind the stage of Sunshine Circus. Toxapex? Or, I guess, Marini, but, you know, will evolve into Toxapex with the circus. I take care of it so it grows up to be a wild member on stage, but unfortunately, I don't have time for it. You want to take it? I guess? Your pie is full, make some space if you really want this egg. I'm... I do like training up new Pokemon, and I like using new Pokemon. I really do. But this game doesn't really make that easy, because training up Pokemon takes so, so long. If I'm playing, like, Pokemon Emerald or something, I can always just slap on the speed up button on an emulator. Pokemon Insurgents and other games have, like, chances that you can train against. This game doesn't really have any easy way to train up Pokemon that I know of. So I don't really want to train up new Pokemon, like, straight from level 1 or level 5. Because some games I've played lately have had Pokemon hatch until the 5s, which is weird. It's weird that they hatch and you'd, you'd think they'd hatch at level 1. You really would. It's weird that they would ever change that. But for right now, we are here. Well, hey, Carlos, this way. So nice to see you again. So, how was your battle against the gym leader? The, the gym leaders, you mean. The gym leaders. Let's not, let's not underestimate my, my power here. I fought two gym leaders. Yowza, so you got all the badges? That's great. Tell us you have my congratulations, but we're not here for this now. Well, that's rude. You could at least say, I mean, come on. We can, we can make some time. We can make some time to be like, wow, good job. Alice, let's focus on our goal. According to my informer, Team Dimension's hideout must be in the city's underground. There's gotta be a passageway to get down there. Yeah, in there. Hi, Asta. You're right. Sleeves up and let's find it. But it... It's in here. Am I not gonna tell them that? It, it's behind this poster. Hey, what are you staring at? Out of my face now. No. I refuse. What? Some hiding secret switch now? Yes. Look at what I gotta hear about. 
Like, his name is Press, or Press the Button. We, we came in here and we already saw this. We knew this was happening. <laughs> it was just a matter of when. We robots are not liars, and like you humans. That I kind of believe, or at least I would believe if you didn't just lie, but you know. I'll prove it to you with a battle. All right, what kind of levels are we looking at here? Because I did train up to level 50, but it wouldn't surprise me if there was, I'm still a couple levels behind. I would not be surprised if you sound like level 52. 46. Okay. Okay. It's better than I thought, actually. We'll just go ahead and acrobatics. There's some really decent damage, actually. You can't knock me off because I'm not holding any items, so I can make use of acrobatics. We do always have the option of putting on flying gems, because we did buy a bunch of those. So we have some power. And Toxicroak, which, once again, I'm just going to click acrobatics again, so I have no reason not to. Your dry skin isn't going to matter when you get one shot. Okay. A nice, clean battle. Now let me press the button. Listen, I, I have a finger-pushing button ready, okay? It's, it, I need this. Curse you. My cover is blown. I need this. There's a switch. I push button. Um. Oh. 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 Hi. Exceedo manager is right in cabinet here. It's really strange looking. Can we already come in here? This lab with a bit of snow. The Vega sewers. But we didn't come in here before. So I guess this must be new. What kind of Pokemon can we find in the sewers? Ew. But it has honey for a brain. Oh, 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 uh, huh? Um, hmm? Wishy washy? Wishy washy? Wishy washy? I kind of. I kind of want it, actually. I kind of want it, you know? I can't help it. I kind of want one. He goes back to his small form when he goes down in HP. Makes sense. Makes sense. I am very curious about what this thing's stats look like. I did grab a bunch more Pokeballs. We have like 50 now. I don't think I grabbed them in between episodes. I think I've had them for a while, but I'm now remembering I have a bunch of Ultra Balls. So you know what? Good enough. Either way, we have the supplies. Gimme. Poison and ground? I expect it poison, not ground so much. The most polluted areas of cities are infested by Kaimus. When they sense danger, they team up together to eliminate the threat. How is that gonna work if I've just caught one? Are the rest just gonna, like, appear out of thin air? I believe it. Hey, this is our clan headquarters. What the heck are you doing here? Your clan's headquarters? Are you part of Team Dimension, kid? I'll push you right into the sewer water. I'll do it. I'll, I'll push him straight in. I feel nothing. <laughs> but for right now, let's go ahead and bop this kind of news, because this one I can't catch, which is unfortunate. And now we get to see how strong it really is, because before we fought one that was a much lower amount of um, levels. This one's actually on power levels and is a lot scarier. It's just got a lot of pretty lights. It's like lit up like a Christmas tree, and I kind of like that. It's obviously a terrifying abomination, but like, hey look, pretty lights, Christmas tree, yay. It does get bought by Waterfall though. Thankfully, we caught one just before we came into this fight, so we already know it's typing, which was very convenient, actually. <laughs> you better hope the boss never finds you. Who is your boss? Tell me more. Can I, like, get a... I was wondering if I could pick up an item, like, I was wondering if the poison would be an item like Black Sludge or something. I think we have Black Sludge already, so I don't know why I was so interested in grabbing Black Sludge, but... Either way, can I interact with barrels? Can I find new Pokémon? What else is in here? I'm curious what other Pokémon are in here. I feel like I have to say this at the start of every single area, so uh, get out your bingo cards for things that I say every episode, but I'm not going to put a repel on just yet because I want to see what Pokemon are in the area. So is it closer to the underground? I'm sure there are some rare fossils around here somewhere. If there are fossils in the sewers, I would be very confused. The sewers are like man-made. They've already kind of been dug out. I don't... I don't think he knows what he's doing down here, to be truly honest. I think he's a little bit confused, but you know what? Getting the benefit of the doubt, maybe there is fossils down here. Who knows? I don't know. Do I look like a fossil man? No. No. Rock blast. Don't hit too many. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Five and a crit. Don't hit too many, he says. Don't hit too many. 
Okay. Flinch to make up for. Cult. No study? No study or Russell. Is that is that legal? Is that a thing that people can legally do? They can just not have study? I don't know. That seems weird. I don't, I don't believe it personally. I don't believe it. No. Uh, we can go ahead and use Psychic on the Arbok though, and that will be all good. So, unless you're form, which it isn't, so we can go ahead and get ourselves our Psychic off, and we should be absolutely fine. Look at that damage. Non-stab, by the way. Non-stab. Look at Roserade go. Have I mentioned I like this Roserade? I have. I have mentioned it. I'm fully aware. Uh, I'm also seeing gold, but I don't think there's gonna be any other Pokemon down here. If there is, then I'm gonna probably miss them because I'm gonna slap Rappel on because we've seen a whole bunch of different Pokemon and none of them look particularly interesting. Like I said, I've got this Choice Bank though. The choice Bank's pretty cool. So we also have Choice Scarf, we have Choice Specs, and we have Choice Bank. We have the whole gang. Now, where on earth are Rappels? Max Spells, look at that. Boom. Go ahead and run around like an idiot and see what we can find in the sewers, I guess. First of all, item. Max Revive. I was told to stock up on revives and X items, and I did do that. I'm not personally a huge fan of X items. I don't like using them a whole bunch. I kind of forget they're there a lot as well, which is entirely on me being stupid, but I'm not a huge fan of X items. What's this? Huh. This is like what happens when there's an X Pokemon, right? I mean, there's a Xenolith here. If there is, I want it. Maybe we'll come back here? Maybe this is a place we come back to. It's a very suspicious looking place. Maybe we chase them down to this area or something along those lines. But either way, as I was saying, I did go ahead and grab a whole bunch of revives. And um, I, am, I am somewhat prepared. Why on earth did someone build a shrine in a place like this? I can't really understand these new cults. If I were you, I'd stay away from it. I want to go in. You can't tell me there's a cult in there and then say, hey, don't go in there. That makes me curious. I want to see what the shrine's like. What if they have a really cool shrine of Pukumuku? I want to go in there. I'll join that cult. Speaking of which... Speaking of which... Lately, I was actually, like, looking through for, like, different, um... Different sort of clothes. And other items that would do a Pukumuku that I could buy. Because I saw um, someone that designed a Pukumuku cat in Animal Crossing, and I was really hoping it would be a real thing that I could go ahead and buy. Sadly, it is, right? And I'm really upset about that. But they do make Pukumuku hoodies and t-shirts, and I was really, really tempted to get one. <laughs> like, really tempted. But honestly, because it wasn't the cat, I don't even wear hats, by the way. Let me let me start this off by saying I don't wear hats or gloves or anything like scarves. I don't really wear any of those, to be honest. I'm very much just a like hoodie, and that's that's more more than you need, uh, kind of person. But I really wanted this Pukumuku hat, even if it was like just to record in, just because it would be funny to like have a Pukumuku cap on. I really wanted it, and I'm really sad that the only way that you can really get one is if you go on like Etsy or something like that, and you get someone to like custom make you one. I'm still considering it, by the way. Still absolutely considering it, but I want Pukumuku merchandise, and I want that to be official like Pokemon merchandise. I don't want that to have to be something that you get from, you know, a custom made order on Etsy. I want Pokemon, like the company themselves, to genuinely go ahead and make Pukumuku caps a real thing. That would make me very happy, and I don't know why it's not a thing already. Run over. <laughs> Boss has charged me to stake up the headquarters at one hour. What? Why? What? I thought Team Dimension was going to be down here. But maybe the sewers was just a place that I could have accessed the entire time? Because it did say the underground, and I mean sewers, yes, they are underground, but I don't know if I'm like actually in the right place. <laughs> Either way, it's an area I haven't been through yet, and there's stuff here, so I mean I'm still gonna go through it, don't get me wrong, but... I am wondering if this is actually the area that I'm meant to be going. Sucker Punch? I should have roosted him again. That would have been amazing. I wish I'd actually done that, and I'd just completely caught him out. That would have been great. Uh, Garbodor can go ahead and Psychic though. I don't want to use Rose Rating as every fight, but 
Poison types, you know, it's the time to use it. It's the time to spam Psychic. If we have the coverage, we may as well use the coverage. It's our only Psychic type move. We don't have any, like, good ground type moves either. We should really look into trying to get, like, Earthquake on Luncheon. Earthquake on Luncheon would be really nice. A nice Dragon Dancer. You know, we get it like Outrage, we get it Earthquake, and we make it like a pseudo Garchomp in a way, I guess is how I'm gonna put it. That would be really good. That would be really good for our team. So at the moment, my moveset on Honshin is trash, right? Crush, Frash, and Waterfall. It's not the dream. Ooh, you have the Singing Bremen. My Bremen, in the meantime, is just absolutely slapped into a box. <laughs> I'm gonna roost and see if I can recover up anything. Ominous Wind. Don't you boost. Okay, no boost. We wild charge, which I don't know if that's super effective or not. It is super effective. It is super effective. It's probably four times super effective, actually, because it's probably part flying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super effective. Makes sense. And Tokakle, which, if I'm remembering right, was a sound type. Which doesn't make any sense to me in my head. But I caught one. Yep. And that means it's weak to electric. It's a strange Pokemon. It like climbs on nothingness. Hurricane. We do have 100% accuracy on this move, remember, because we have the ability Drizzle. And as I was saying before, Thunder and Hurricane on this Pokemon would not be bad. It really wouldn't. It would be really good, in fact. However, our physical attack is higher than our special attack, and acrobatics without an item goes to the same base power as Hurricane. And the only way that Hurricane would be better in that case, I mean, I know it has the confused chance, but the only way that it would really make it better in my opinion is if I put like a choice specs on, and then I can't utilize Thunder Wave and Roost. We do always have the option of going to a move tutor and relearning the move. At the moment, we're very physical. Uh, our physical attack is much higher. I'm going to keep with Acrobatics, it seems to be working, Acrobatics hits ridiculously hard, all is good, all is good. Ah, you, you are who I'm looking for, but I also haven't explored the rest of the sewers, so first of all, let's go down here. Where's the Danana <laughs> Oh dear, what does I don't know mean? Alright, let me help you refresh your memory. Can they not say Dominoes? They're not something that they can type into their game. Are they, are they afraid that Domino's is gonna come after them? Like, how dare you? How dare you? Alright, how dare you mention us in the sewers of your game? We don't want to be associated with sewers. Is that why? Is that why? Because it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they thought that hard about it. I guess you also just don't want to give promotion to random people unless you get, like, sponsorship deals. It's like the mindset of a YouTuber, I swear. You, you, you don't want to mention other, like, brands or block out other brands just <laughs> unless you get a sponsorship deal. That seems weird to me. It seems weird to me. I want a sponsorship deal with, uh, Maryland Cookies, please. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. I will mention them probably, like, nine times an episode if, if that ever happened. That'd make me very happy, but that's never gonna happen because I don't really do sponsorships or anything. I'm not big enough to do sponsorships. I have 4,280 subscribers at the time of recording. It's, it's not enough. <laughs> it's a lot of people, don't get me wrong, and I'm very appreciative. I don't say it very often, but I'm very appreciative. But, um, it's not, it's not a sponsorship. <laughs> it's off, there must be a way to turn it on. Huh. That's not what I was expecting. Can I really not, like, balance along that? No? Okay. I'd like to think that I have some balance. I'd like to think that I can do that. We can go to the right here. And we'll just slap on another super repel. Hi. The boss doesn't want you meddling kids in his way. Now scram. Okay. Uh, we found ourselves a toxic plate. You know, if one we find Arceus. The switch is turned off. Do you want to turn it on? Yes. Seems something has been activated. Well, I have a feeling I know what got activated, but, you know, we'll we'll go and see. We'll go and see. In fact, before we do that, I'm going to quickly run back to that dude that takes me to the entrance, and I'm going to quickly heal. Alright, so this dude should now be turned on. He is! Hey! Why the hell did you activate me? I said for a very specific reason. Block the access. Then... 
wouldn't you want to be activated so that you can actually block the access? I mean, if you're turned off, how are you going to help? Someone's just going to move you to the side. Why did- why- why would you be sad that I activated you? You- you can still choose not to move, you know? If that's your- what you're programmed to do, you're not gonna move. It's not like being activated makes you lighter, or does it? Or does it? It does, that's weird. It does, that's really weird. Blame Grudge, you are an awkward Pokemon for me to fight, because the only thing that you're really weak to that I have is fire. I don't really have any ground-type moves. Like I said, I love Earthquake on Honshin, but I keep leading with Harok and setting up the rain because it helps Sharpedo and Honshin a lot with the whole dry skin waterfall thing. But it does screw over my fire type. So, I guess, I guess we stay in, we paralyze it a little bit to try and like stop it from doing what it wants to do a, a little bit, I guess. Brush Claw, okay, okay. We'll, uh, we'll wild charge it. As long as we don't get poisoned, this is fine, because we can just roost up after dealing the damage we need to do. Poison death, don't. I, why do I speak? <laughs> why? Why do I say the words that I do? <laughs> Either way, I'm still gonna roost. Go for another, like, go for Iron Head, like you did last time before you. Poison jab? Okay. Okay, that's unfortunate. You know what? You know who can't be poisoned? Roserade. You know what Pokemon is just good to go into in, like, every situation? Roserade. Because Roserade is good. That simple. Really is that simple. We get a little bit of the Black Sludge, because we already have one. I think I picked up another one. There's a whole area of the sewers on the left um, that I started running over towards, and then I completely didn't, because, you know, I wanted to head over here. But I did pick up a Black Sludge. Didn't check out anything else, though. Skarmory, you are also weak to fire, and that's a real problem for me right now. <laughs> Um, hmm. Do I just believe that I'm also weak to flying? If I go into Skullville, I am also weak to flying. Shyleon, you haven't been useful like a single one of these Pokemon. It really is unfortunate. I really would like to use Shyleon. I would. I don't remember if I'm getting this the wrong way around in my head again. Because it's been a little while since I played, uh, but sound good against flying. Sound good against flying. Okay, okay. I remembered. It took me a second there. It took me a second there. I feel like I'm always going to get it slightly wrong in my head because I know that sound is neutral against Harrock, and that makes you forget <laughs> how electric and flying flip. <laughs> error, error, Re retreat. This is MB. But if your job was to block, why would you leave? I... Oh well, either way, gets us in, I guess. I am gonna go ahead and actually heal up, as I did bring some medicine for once. I do have a... Yeah, I do have a bunch of full heals. Okay, for a second there I thought I completely lost them, but... We do have some full heals, we do have some good old super potions, which we'll use in this moment while we're not actually fighting anything super important. We'll just heal everyone back up to full, and let's go ahead and continue. Anything crazy gonna happen when we're running out along here? I didn't- I don't trust any of this. I'm just waiting for one of these to be like a detector that goes beep 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 beep. It, people coming to battle you. Huh? We're really just waltzing in. Oh! Hi! Huh, would you look at that? You actually decided to show up in the end. Uh, hi. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because of that old geezer's order. I'm here because I want to. Huh? Couldn't wait any longer to challenge you and prove everyone, myself included, that I'm better than you. Uh, it's kind of rude. You, the noob who has everyone at his feet. Your pet pray to be spared. I... Buddy. Come on now. I big badges. I'm, I'm like mildly experienced now. You can't call me noob anymore. I'll make you fall down before true strength. Oh, we're really just- we're really just going into it, huh? Are you going into it with like a big old boss Xeno Pokemon at the end, or are you just- did you just have an old team? I'm pretty sure this is just an old team. Again, I'm leading with Harrock, so please don't send out anything weak to fire, because, you know, I'm- I'm- I didn't learn my lesson, I guess. 
But for right now, let's go ahead and go into Sharpedo, I guess, and resist the obvious poison type move. And then we can slap it back with a waterfall. B up! That is not what I was expecting, but that is really unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. And the last one crit. Did it matter? Maybe not, but wow, that's a bad start. Like, wow. I was not expecting beat up. Mostly because I know it's poison ground, and we've only seen it go for poison death moves. You know what? I'm greedy. I'll go for a dragon dance. Why not? I'll go for two if I have to. I'll think about it. Sludge wave. Okay, that hits really hard. Never mind. We are going to go for two. We are not going to go for two. We are going to go for one, and then we're going to waterfall and hope that it does a whole lot of damage. It does do a whole lot of damage, though. That's for sure. It did a whole lot of damage. We do have the dry skin healing, which, you know, will hopefully make an impact. Gives us a little bit of recovery after that dragon dance. For tail. I don't know what that is. Ooh. Ooh. Is that the evolved form of, um... The Magicoa? Is that what it was called? We just thrash. This is a fairy type. I think we just go for big old damage. If you're remembering right, it was fairy and poison, so thrash is just big damage. Play rough, you outspeed me after my dragon dance? Okay, 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 that's not good. That's not good. Well, we'll come on in. We'll go for our good old sand type move. Play rough. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We do resist that. And we do slap back. Okay. So far, technically even, but I have a Shyly on, which honestly hasn't felt great lately, and I don't consider it a full Pokemon in the pack. <laughs> it's like fighting with five and a half Pokemon. It sounds rude, but it really feels like it. Sabol, which was electric. Shyleon, is this your time? Shyleon, I think this is your time. Get in here. This is probably your time. Look at that Pokemon. That's definitely my favorite Pokemon appearance-wise. I really like that. I'm just gonna go for a Moonblast. We do our speed. Super effective. Not enough to KO, sadly. Thunderbolt, we live that fine. We live that fine. Don't paralyze. No process, Moonblast, goodbye. Full Restore, good. Use your Full Restores on this, because one, it keeps it on the screen longer and I get to look at the pretty Pokemon, and two, because it's not that scary. I like it. <laughs> back to back reasons, I like the double whammy. But Shion, you know what? It did good. Rexqueam. I don't know what that is. Oh! Funky looking guy. I'm just gonna Moonblast. Dark type. Okay. Okay. Poison Jab. Bye. Bye. It's a quick way to disappear. <laughs> Let me tell you that. It's a, it's a very quick way to disappear. Um, either way, that should hopefully put it in acrobatics range. Maybe I wild charge. It looks like a, it looks like flying type. Regardless, Acrobatics hits hard enough to KO, right? Full Restore, I made a mistake. I, wow, I really made a mistake. Wild Charge, okay. Doesn't affect- Are you... The evolved form of Peckabone? So Ground Dark, which would make sense as to why Moonblast was super effective. I think it is. It's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. I thought it was like a ghost type, like a Yveltal, Dark Flying, something along those lines, you know? But I guess not Rapidash. Well, we've done this matchup before. Go ahead, Mega Horn me. That's not the right Rapidash. That's not what I was thinking. That's, that's, this isn't... We live the Hurricane, we Wild Charge. We're probably gonna KO each other, but that's fine. I don't like the fact that I gave that thing super effective, or 100% accurate, not super effective, um, Hurricanes. Rapidash became furious. No. No. Scoville, please. Can I. I mm. We're trying to do this faster. Scoville is faster. Wish I had choice specs right now, I really do. 
I could use Scovel. Scovel's not gonna outspeed. Scovel's not gonna outspeed. I could play the smart. I I bought revives. All right, this probably isn't the fight that, that was the reason I was being recommended to have them, but we'll just revive the, the Pokemon with Aqua Jet so that we know that we can get rid of this. Because I do think it probably outspeeds. Like Storm Rapidash, it's a cool Pokemon. It's a really cool Pokemon. I do really like it. But Chapito does have Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet should do the job. If it doesn't, then it's Focus Banded and that would suck. <laughs> if it was Focus Banded, that would really be unfortunate. But either way, it does take it out, and then we have Sizzle. Which I'm just gonna stay in against, and I'm just gonna Waterfall, I guess, for some damage. Bullet Punch, we should live that. We do live that, that's nice. Waterfall does a decent amount of damage. I'm just gonna Aqua Jet, just to make sure that we can get damage off. Bullet Punch. We might still live. We do not live. Then, it was the 1v1. <laughs> it came down to the wire, where we clicked Hyper Voice, and KO'd the final Pokemon with good old Roserade that's our key in the back. The power I've always longed for. We don't talk about the fact that I had to use a Revive, okay? We don't need to talk about that, okay? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Roserade might have lived a hit anyway. It's fine. Don't worry about it too much. What is the meaning of this? How could all this power have no effect on you? Revise. <laughs> Maybe I'm not the only one who had to face ordeals. Have you gone through difficult obstacles that have made you and your Pokemon stronger as well? No. No. Maybe. All this contempt has always pushed me against everyone and everything is nothing but envy. Such childish behavior won't get me anywhere. They say Pokemon are a reflection of the trainer, and your victory proves you're a step above me. All I can do is learn from someone like you. Without control, there is no power, and I let the latter completely overwhelm me. Only so that I can prove to those who always push me around that I'm worth something. Yet, yeah. by doing so, I've done nothing but obey the plans of those mutts. I like the use of the word mutts. It's a good choice of word. Here you are. Oh, so you're alright? I... not really. Five of my Pokemon are kind of bopped. If you could heal them, that'd be great. I knew you would have found the passageway. Did I really just not tell them where it was, even after I was told where the, the hideout was behind the poster? That's weird to me. And who's this guy? I'm but a pawn in the hands of Team Dimension. Trey, to make a long story short. But Carlos has given you a lesson, huh? So it seems. Let me help you thwart the plans of that bunch of maniacs now. Ally acquired. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Who do you think we are? We're not going to let you get us into a trap. Astro's right. Ally not acquired. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure of what you're saying, Carlos? Should we really trust this guy? Yes. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> yes or absolutely yes. I... I'm not feeling an absolutely yes, okay? You know, I really like his Pokemon, and I would like to have it on my team. Actually. Yeah, I've convinced myself. Absolutely yes. I want that Savile. Alright, you know, I believe in you. Well, we have no other way to get on that rocket, to be honest. Hm. You seem to be re really well trusted by your folks, don't you, Carlos? You betcha. Let's focus on our goal, guys. Ray, tell us what we need to do to stop all this. Not much you can do by now. Destroy the rocket. You know, I have... I have Pokemon with Flamethrower. Would that not work? This rocket will go off towards the moon any minute now. Getting on board is the only shot you got. That sounds like a really bad idea. Well then. Pass, we're just waiting for you. And that is where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Next episode, we're going on a rocket to the moon, which uh, is not what I was expecting to say, but, you know, so that's the plan. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above everybody, 